Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Cause I wonder where you are and I wonder what you do. Are you somewhere feeling lonely? Or is someone loving you? Oh, hi. I'm Danielle Fischel. I'm here to answer all of your relationship questions. Dear Danielle, Danielle's dating diary. Oh, Danielle Mail is here. Let's check out our question. Dear Danielle, I'm about to give up on dating. My friends and family keep trying to set me up on blind dates. Should I give it a shot? Well, I think absolutely you should give it a shot, but I have a couple little rules to follow. One, only let a friend that knows you very, very well and that you really trust set you up with someone. And two, don't spend too much time getting to know the person you're going on the date with too well via texting or email or social media. I had this happen to me once, thought the guy was gonna be awesome because his text game was great, his emails were funny, and I already heard that he was really cute. But then we hung out in person and he was a dud, dud, dud. Somebody who definitely needed those five to 10 minutes to think about what he wanted to say in order to be cute and funny. So I wish I hadn't gotten my hopes up because I ended up being let down. So let yourself be surprised, have a good time, and make sure a friend texts you 30 to 45 minutes into the date in case you want to be rescued. Dear Danielle, I just turned 15 and my parents finally are allowing me to date. What are the qualities I should be looking for in a guy? Well, I think it's important and I was lucky enough to find somebody who listens to me, is fun, is kind, is respectful, and who totally loves me for who I am. But it has been a while since I was your age. I wonder what 15 year old me would tell you. My dream guy parts his hair down the middle and he always wears denim shirts under rust-colored Aztec-inspired embroidered vests. He has the voice of a baby lion destined to be king someday. And he always carries a bouquet of wildflowers picked fresh from the lush gardens of Detroit, Michigan, where he and his family work hard to improve their home every day. Oh, there he is. Hey, where'd you get that? That's mine. man brought me another. Dear Danielle, I'm having trouble meeting the right guy in the real world, so I thought I might try online dating. I have no experience with this and I'm kind of nervous about trying it. Should I give it a go? Girl, absolutely you should give it a go. The internet is still considered the real world nowadays. And I think the only thing you need to keep in mind is that you should be safe and always put your real self out there. Don't be one of those catfish people. So use a current picture, be honest about what your likes and dislikes are, and have a few things that are deal breakers for you. And don't accept anybody who has your deal breakers. So try to find someone you have common interests with and pick a fun, safe place out in public that you can meet up with them and have a friend. Use the buddy system. If you're not having a good time, your friend can come and rescue you. There's always the, hey, my house is on fire excuse. Dear Diary, today we learned that you probably won't meet someone new in your living room. Well, a cute guy may deliver your new sofa, but chances are you're gonna really meet someone when you get out and you try new things. Denim clad idols will live forever in our hearts, but don't limit your expectations because you never know who you're going to meet. Try going against type. It may be a perfect fit. Love you more, Danielle. Subscribe to Pop Sugar Girl's Guide and send me your love queries in the comments below.